What we have here is a very large two-bedroom home that sits on Mercer Island, uh, right off of Island Crest Way. It's on a quite a private little street uh, here with only a few homes on it, but it is off of a major street on Mercer Island. It's very quiet inside. It sits on a very large lot. This lot needs to be tended and mowed, uh, but it does provide easy access onto I-90. Uh, the noise that is outside, uh, you don't really hear inside. It's got a one-car garage. On the right is a shop. We'll get into that, but the left door is a, a working garage door. And as we come up to the entrance here, uh, you're going to notice that there's some glass block on the corner that lets light into the living room. It's a very nice entrance that way. And as we come into the front door, this is a, like about a 2,400 square foot two-bedroom house. It was built in the 50s for a Boeing executive. It's absolutely monstrous for two bedrooms. Very large living room as we come in with a huge picture window and those glass blocks which add a very nice touch to it. But as you come around and scan the room, you can just see how large this is. It does have a working fireplace. Uh, so, if the power ever does go out, you can still have heat in the house without booking a hotel room. Off of the living room is a dining room. It's all hardwood floors except for the bedroom, one bedroom. But anyhow, uh, a dining room with hardwood floors. It's got this nice little uh, kind of... Um, little window in the hallway between the window and the dining room to get light even further aft. This house was built in the 50s, very nicely done. It has not been updated. So it, you're dealing with period uh, uh, pieces and hopefully that will work well for you. Uh, you can see the countertop here with a large stainless steel sink. Uh, the cabinetry um, uh, is pretty much all original. Check out this uh, refrigerator. Now, we may be able to uh, replace this refrigerator, but it works absolutely wonderful. So, uh, they just don't make them like this anymore. But uh, it isn't frost free, so it does need to be defrosted periodically. We have a dishwasher um, next to it, little countertop, microwave, more counter space, and an electric uh, self cleaning range. There's also a little eating space over here, so you can turn that into an office or an eat out in the dining room or use the dining room for something else and certainly um, fit a little table and some chairs in there. As we come off of the kitchen, we're going to go into a hallway. This hallway has the two bedrooms and uh, that are separated by a bathroom. A couple of closets down at the end. We'll start there. This first one is your, just your standard linen closet, so not much to see there, but uh, except for the blankets and the shelves and all the rest. At the end of the hallway is a coat closet. This would be uh, more of an entry closet where you could put your coats and things. As you go into this first bedroom, it's obviously the master. It is much, much larger than the other bedroom, uh, and, and it's like I said, massive. Uh, it has twin closets with a uh, built-in dresser in between, a uh, mirror uh, there, mirror above the dresser, uh, and then these large windows that again continue to bring light into uh, this space. Uh, but uh, as you can see from this, uh, it'll fit a California King or two in this mass are absolutely huge. Uh, as we come down the hallway, we're going to close that door. Take a look at this bathroom. This bathroom, again, separates uh, uh, the two bedrooms. You've got his and hers uh, double sinks here, uh, very nicely uh, done architecturally. A little um, curio cabinet uh, for uh, various things in between uh, toiletries and the like. Uh, some wainscoting around the toilet, and then the shower is really nicely done. It's got um, just the matching green motif, and it's fully tiled, uh, you can see here, and 
uh, the old time uh, handles. Uh, see if we can get a close up of that and the faucet. What really makes this special little handlebar there for so you don't slip in the shower uh, is some of the tile work that uh, has been uh, included in this uh, surround. Uh, so it's not just your standard tile uh, job, it's, it's really quite nice. As we come out of this bathroom, then we're going to turn back towards the kitchen into the second bedroom. This bedroom is much smaller, be it. Uh, and I'll go to this end, and you can see that uh, you know it's still a good sized room. It's probably average by today's standards. Uh, it's just that that other master is so large, and it's got a very very large eight foot closet. Let me get this closet here, a door rather, and so uh, you've got sliders up above and inside then is just a shelf and a, and, a co and a coat rack, at least a coat rack on that side, and uh, you can switch it to the other side, and then it's got these drawers down below for additional storage, so plenty of storage, of course, 2,400 square foot, two bedroom house, you'd have to expect that there's going to be plenty of storage. Back through the kitchen now, we're going to go into the laundry room. Washer and dryer are included, so uh, it's all right here on site. Uh, and then there's, uh, and you've got this uh, tongue and groove uh, knotty pine in this laundry room. Uh, there's the furnace, um, and I believe it's gas, but I'm not sure of that. There's an extra freezer here, so uh, uh, when you go to Costco, um, you can uh, put the food by. Next to it is a broom closet. And what's really interesting uh, is the custom uh, shelving that's been put in here. So if you like to can, this is a, a large canning shelf. Uh, the matron in the 50s liked to can, and so her husband built uh, the, uh, uh, the shelving for her. So great place. There's a, there's a root bin for potatoes and uh, onions and the like. So a lot of neat uh, time stuff. We haven't cleaned out the garage yet, so please uh, forgive us for that. But anyhow, it is just a single car garage. And beyond this, on the other bay, is a shop. I don't have the light in the shop yet, so uh, uh, there we go. Get a little bit of an idea. So again, it, it needs to be uh, cleaned up as well, but uh, a, a nice little man cave here. Uh, for uh, the fixer-upper or handyman to spend some time in. We're going to take a quick uh, look outside the back door here. Uh, this house sits on a very large lot. So it has a, fr a large front yard, a large side yard, and a large backyard. So you're going to want to uh, like yard work when you move in here because yard work is expected get an idea of just how large. Yeah, I mean, you can put a volleyball in that, badminton. Uh, you've got a fruit tree here. It looks like it's apple or cherry, but I'm not sure which. Little shed over in the corner for uh, the uh, lawnmower and stuff. And then uh, this little staging area next uh, to this. So, Again, this is a very special home. Um, it still carries many of the period pieces from the 50s uh, uh, with just only two bedrooms in a 2,400 square foot house. Uh, you're going to have plenty of space to yourself and uh, it'll be very quiet inside. So uh, thanks for looking and considering full service property management. You can view all of our listings uh, available vacancies at www.fullservicepm.com. Thank you again for looking and make it a great day. Bye now.